What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, today I'm doing another review. Uh, the review today is on a game that has populated my free time uh, for the past week. Um, any of you who have watched my last video will know, or actually last two videos, uh, will know that I've been away in Dorset uh, with the family uh, for the last week. Um, had a great time. If you haven't watched the video, I urge you to. Uh, it'll be in my list of videos. Um, yeah, like I said, had a great time. This game, I guess, was my game of choice to play. I had this on Marvel Ultimate Alliance, which I was playing at the start of the week, uh, which I know I put a re uh, review out, I think, about a week ago now, a couple of days ago. Um, I lose track of time. Um, but I had the first one of this game and played to death. I loved it, every minute of it. Um, and the second one did not disappoint. In fact, it's even better than the second than, than the first one. Um, in some respects, they both have the same core game. Uh, the second one has more polish to it, I guess you would say. Um, I first saw the review of this on another YouTuber's channel that I like to watch. Uh, shout out to Beat 'em Ups. Um, did a fantastic review on this and the first one. Um, the game in question is Dragon Quest Builders 2. Um, I'm not massively familiar with the Dragon Quest franchise. Um, I know there are many Dragon Quest games, um, but again, not completely clued in about kind of what's going on. Um, this game in question is a building slash RPG adventure game, an expor exploration game. Um, you know, across multiple lands, multiple worlds, collecting multiple resources, battling multiple enemies, um, you know, frequent and tough boss fights. Um, and obviously you, you kind of build what you feel if you want to just like play the game very sort of simply, you just build a very simple structure. Um, you know, you can do that. Um, but obviously you can, you can, you can, you can flourish, you can, you can build massive towers or massive cities or whatever really you want to build, you can build. I guess it's almost like a sandbox. There is a story mode to it, and obviously in that there are things you have to build. Um, the game will obviously then tell you what you need, and right through the area you want to go and find it in. Uh, the first one did the same thing. This one is no exception, uh, but this one does have certain flourishes like, uh, like I've, I've seen them, uh, they are like a, like a cart track, like a my cart track. Uh, there's, a, there's a possibility of a buggy. I haven't found it yet, um, but like I said, I've only played it for about a week. Um, but yeah, I played the first one for hours on end. Um, I've, I've, loved, I've loved, obviously, it's made, it's made by Square Enix. Um, you know, I spent my, my youth, as it were, um, playing Final Fantasy games. Seven, I think, was my first one, all the way through to nine and ten. Um, I lost the way after that a bit and haven't played many of the newer ones. Uh, but actually, the turn-based combat I really loved in 7, 8, and 9, and the story was so well written. Um, that is exactly the same for this. All right, there is no turn-based combat, but the, the flow and the story really make you root for the characters that you're playing as. Um, obviously, in these games, first one and second one, you get to make your own character. So you have a base character, either male or female. Uh, you choose the, the hair color, the hair type, I think. Uh, skin tone and their and their name. Uh, my guy has, uh, as you see, this, the main character on the front has a spiky blonde hair here. Uh, my guy has the same hair, but it's bright blue, like electric blue. Um, not to say that there are other colours out there. I just thought that were really cool at the time. Um, obviously, the clothes you're wearing when you start the game um, are just what you start in. You can upgrade your things. You can craft new weapons, new armor, you can go from like a leather vest up to like a plate metal, uh, you know, armor, helmet, shield, a whole lot. Um, the combat obviously varies depending on what you're wearing. Tougher enemies become easier. If you've got a lot of protection, if you've got a lot of like, armor, obviously as you level up, your health will increase. Um, you know, the combat itself is, I guess you'd say, more of a, I don't want to say, but I'm actually the wrong way. You just kind of swing your sword and bash. Um, unlike the first game, in this one, you do have a uh, friendly character. Well, I say you do have a friendly character. You do have a helpful character. Uh, this is this guy on the box. His name is Malroth. Um, you meet him early on in the game. Um, 
Again, I'm not like giving anything away here. That's just what you find at the start of the game. Um, and he, if you start collecting a resource, uh, and I'll link this in the trailer. But I'm linking the trailer. I'll put the trailer in. You better see what happens to him. But if you're hunting a certain resource, then he will gather the resource of that type around you. If you get into a big fight, he will jump in the battle with you. Um, earlier, you craft him an oaken club, I believe, uh, which he adores and likes to properly smash things with. Um, yeah, uh, like I said, he's, he loves it. Um, he's very appreciative of you building it for him. Um, going into the building, I guess it's like Minecraft. I have a, I've dabbled in Minecraft. Um, Friends and I play it much more. Um, I'm more. I've quite, I quite, quite enjoyed it, but I didn't really get into it. This uh, this has to you build everything in blocks, like you do in Minecraft. Obviously, nothing else is in blocks. Characters are all you know nice and 3D, rounded out. Enemies are well rounded out, but everything you build, apart from doors, obviously, are blocks. So blocks of soil, blocks of rock, blocks of uh, blocks of wood. I'm gonna get blocks of wood. That's bizarre point. Uh, you can build when you start off you start building with like sand or soil um, and obviously in the original game you uh, you had teleporters throughout the world which teleported you to a new part of or a new, sorry, a new part a new world and on that world there'll be resources that you couldn't get on your original island um, and that's the same in this game apart from it's not a teleporter it's a boat uh, you get on the boat uh, and that'll take you off to a new world you can gather the resource you need uh, and then come back and obviously if you've got a if you've got a soil built structure you can upgrade that with like stone blocks and you've got a stone structure or a wooden structure I think they do metal plates so you get metal plate structure obviously enemies will attack your base from time to time uh, and obviously the, the tougher your base the more it will withstand um, you can build a very really small tight base um, I believe there is a sandbox mode kind of to it where you can build kind of what you like uh, there is also a story element, story element sorry, that I'm also playing for at the moment. Uh, and that's more, I guess, that kind of tells you what to build, where to build it, and how to build it, and the resource, what you'll need, and kind of where it is in the general vicinity of where you, what, where you are. Um, you have to cook food. So you have a percentage gauge on your character. If you become too low, you'll stop losing health. And you're a lot slower, you can't, you can't break so much stuff. You can't, like carry as much you have to eat regularly to keep your percentage up that way you don't flake out and the game will tell you oh you're down to 10 percent and you need to find some food it's always always good to have good idea to have food on you um but i say you gather that you have to build bonfires to cook the food some of it can be eaten raw uh, there are benefits to cooking it obviously raw meat i believe you can be eaten raw but it's better to cook it you get much of a stat boost than you do um but yeah i mean this is just my point of view. Uh, let me know in the comments if you've played any other Dragon Quest games, if you've played Dragon Quest Builders 1 or 2. Um, I've got it for the Switch, as you can tell. It is out for PS4 and Xbox One, or Xbox One X at least. Um, I haven't seen the graphics on them on the Switch. Obviously, you're running 720 handheld mode, 1080 on if you're docking it. Um, it's phenomenal. I played the first one on the Switch. I love the ability. So, you know, so I've had I've been away for the last week. To be able to play the Switch just in bed, you know, of an evening, I'm down there, sit on the Switch. It's great, you know. Um, anyone who's got a Switch will know that. Um, if you haven't, I just prefer better graphics. Obviously, console version may be better for you in that respect. Um, but I said, let me know in the comments if you've got it, thinking about it. If you are sitting on the fence, I do urge you to get it. Um, and like I said, there are plenty of other reviews out there. Um, you know, if you're watching this, thanks for watching mine. Um, but like I say, you know, check out uh, Beat Em Up's video. Um, I believe he has, well, no, if, I know he has one for one and two, so Dragon Quest one, Dragon Quest two. Um, he's the one that got me into the game. Um, so yeah, shout out to you, uh, Beat Em Ups, for doing the review. Um, and yeah, like I said, you know, thanks for joining me on this review. I um, hope to be another review soon. Um, I've definitely got something to review, although I can't remember what it is now. Um, but I'll keep you posted. Um, this game will definitely keep me going for the next couple of months, if not longer. Um, you can pick up and play it for like two hours. Um, yeah, it's easy to pick up and put down. Um, although I tend to pick it up and not put it down. That's just me personally. Um, but yeah, thank you for joining. 
Uh, hi guys, as promised, here is the official trailer, uh, sorry, official Square Enix trailer for Dragon Quest Builders 2. Uh, so it's not my trailer, obviously, that's obviously quite clear. Um, it does give a good representation of what to expect from the game, the graphics, uh, combat, the building elements and world to explore. Uh, please enjoy the video, I won't talk more over it. Thanks very much. So thanks for joining me on this review. Um, I hope to see you again in another one. Thanks for your time, thanks for watching. Bye for now.